Hi everyone, today we'll be taking a deep dive into higher order components in React.js. A higher order component is a function that takes a component and returns a new component with additional properties. It's a technique that allows you to reuse logic across multiple components. Just as a chef can modify a recipe to suit the tastes of their dishes, higher order component can be adjusted to fit the needs of different components. And just as a chef can reuse the recipes to make multiple dishes, a higher order component can be reused to enhance multiple components with the same logic. Higher order components particularly are useful when you want to share the logic between the components that are similar but not identical. They are also commonly used for implementing features like authentication, error handling and data loading. Code with Sloba. To illustrate how higher order components can be used, let's consider a common problem in React applications the need to show a loading indicator when fetching data from an API. We can create a higher order component that wraps our original component and adds the loading indicator functionality. So in this example, we'll create a higher order component that shows loading indicator when data is being fetched. Create a new file and call it withloader.js. We start by importing React and new state hook from the React library. Then we define a function with loader that takes a component wrap component as an argument and returns a new component. Inside the return component, we use the useState hook to declare a loading state variable and a set loading state updater function. We set the initial value of the loading state to true. Next, we use setTimeout function to simulate a data fetch from an API. After 2 seconds, we call the setLoading function and set the loading state to false. In the component's render method, we use an if statement to check the value of the loading state. If loading is true, we display a loading message. If loading is false, we render the wrap component and pass all the properties it's using with the spread operator and make sure to export default with loader. Let's see an example of user component that we will use to demonstrate how to use with loader higher order component in our root app component. So create a new file called user.js. We start by importing React library. Then we define a functional component named user. Next, let's define dummy user object and set the name to be sloba and email to be something random. Then we need to show the user information and display the user's name and email. So add a return statement with a div. And inside of the div, add a paragraph. First one will show name and it will call user.name property. Duplicate this paragraph and display email as well. On the bottom of the file, export our component as default. Now let's see how we can use the withloader higher order component and the user component in our root app component. We start by importing the user component from user file and withloader higher order component from withloader. We then create a new component user withloader by calling the withloader higher order component and passing the user component as an argument. In the app component, we render the user with loader component inside of a div. And that's it. This is how the with loader higher order component is used in a real life scenario to show a loading spinner while data is being fetched. The user component can be used to show any user related information and the with loader higher order component can be used to wrap any component that needs to display a loading spinner while data is being fetched. In conclusion, Higher order components are a powerful technique for reusing logic in React.js. They allow you to wrap a component with additional properties and logic, making it easy to extend and modify the behavior of existing components. I hope this tutorial was helpful in explaining the concept of higher order components in React.js. Well, that's all for this React video. And thanks for stopping by. And don't forget to subscribe. Code with Sloba.
Thank you for watching the entire video. To see more React tutorials, click here.